So in 12.7, uh, you talked about the gas bill. Um, this one, 12.8, uh, we talked about the cost of water. Um, there tends to be a lot more water companies out there than there are gas and electric. So the, the cost of water could vary depending on where you live. Um, I know in comparison to Orland, Homer Glen is very expensive. Um, so uh, here are a couple different ways that they, they do charge you. First, uh, your water bill depends. Why is this not working? So your water bill depends somewhat on whether you live in the city, the suburbs, or the country, right? If you live in an area served by a municipal water company and also have sewers, you pay for the water used for um, the use of the sewers. The water used is measuring gallons or cubic feet. Now, the one thing you have to know here is um, some people have well water, so they don't see a bill, all right? Some people, um, people who tend to have well water have septics, right? So they don't have sewers. So looking at that, your total water bill ends up being the water usage charge plus the sewer charge. Now, the crazy part about water bills is, is this the cost of sewer. Um, where I live, the cost of sewer is really, really expensive. Um, and then actually when we, um, when we had to replace the liner in our pool, I had to empty all the water and then refill the pool. Well, when I calculated it out, it was gonna be like over $1,000 just for the water based on my current water bills. So I'll tell you right now, like I called the water company and I had to like uh, negotiate with them and what they basically said is they take your average usage over the winter, right? And you pay for sewage on that amount for the bill um, when I fill the pool. Anything over that amount, I just pay for the water. Because the sewer is that water going back to the plant and they, they clean it, right? So if the water is not going back to the, the water facility, right? Why should I have to pay for the cost of sewer? So there are some things you have to keep in mind and maybe we'll touch base when we get back about that. So there's two uh, pay structures here. One is Twin Lakes Water and Sewer, where you can see you pay for the cost of the water, right? And then you pay a flat fee for the cost of the sewer, all right? Now, Madison Water Bill, right, is a little bit different here you pay for the cost of the water, but then the cost of the sewer is based on 85% of the water usage, okay? Because the reason you, you would only pay on 85% of the water usage is because if you're drinking the water um, and it's not going in the sewer, right, or you're watering your grass, it's not going in the sewers, therefore, they don't want you to, to pay for that, all right? now. It is a, a different structure, so you do have to pay attention to that. So let's take a, a look at some of the examples here. So um, if we use the Twin Lakes here, right? Twin Lakes water and sewer raised structure. Um, Wade Perry used 15,000 gallons of water. What is the total water charge, sewer charge, and total water bill? Well, the first 12,000 gallons, you know right away when you look here, it's gonna cost you instantly $38.60. So right there, the first 12,000 gallons you use is $38.60. Now, if he used 15,000 gallons, I'm gonna take that 15,000, subtract the 12,000 gallons I already paid for, right? And if you go up here, it says, right? over 12,000 gallons is $1 per gallon, or per 1,000 gallons. So I technically have 3,000 gallons yet to pay for. So 3,000 times a dollar is 3,000, but I have to divide it by 1,000. So that means I'm gonna pay an extra $3 there. Then I have the cost of the sewer. So my total water bill would be $38.60 plus three dollars plus the 39.50 sewer charge so when i add these up 38.60 plus three dollars plus 39.50 
your total water bill here would be $81.10. Now, you also have to remember some water companies, right, have you pay your water bill on a monthly basis. Some make you pay on a quarterly basis, so every three months, right? So 12,000 gallons is, tends to be a lot. So that's probably um, every three months. So Alice Zorn used 18,500 gallons of water. What is the total water charge, sewer charge, water bill? So you know right away you're paying the 38.60. So I'm going to bring that down here, $38.60. And I'm going to take the 18,500, subtract the 12,000 gallons I already paid for, so I still have 6,500 gallons to pay for. So if I take this divided by 1,000, it ends up being an extra $6.50. So 6,500 times a dollar divided by 1,000. So I'm going to add the $6.50. Then the cost of the sewer, which would be $39.50, right? So $38.60 plus 650 plus 3950 gives you a total water bill of $84.60. Okay, now number three, you have your, your first 12,000. Now 22,000 minus the 12,000 tells me I have 10,000 extra gallons to pay for. So 10,000 times a dollar is 10,000 divided by 1,000 is an extra $10. So your total water bill here would be the 38.60 plus the $10 plus the 39.50. And when you add these together, you get $88 and 10 cents. So now that's using, right, the Twin Lakes water and sewer rate structure. Now again, this rate structure is significantly different than the one we just did, okay? So let's take a look at this. First, Stan, Tom Staley used 2,500 cubic feet of water. What is the cost of the water, the sewer, and the total water bill? So right away, the cost of the water is $23.95 per thousand cubic feet. So I'm going to take my cubic feet, divide it by 1,000, and then multiply that by 23.95. So you know that's going to be, this gives you 2.5 times 23.95. So your water cost is $59. We're going to round it to 88 cents. Now you got to remember, the cost of the sewer is based on 85%. So we have to take the water we used, multiply it by 85%, we change to 0.85, and 2,500 times 0.85 gives you, you have to pay for 2,125 cubic feet of water. So now the first 1,200 cubic feet, you know, is a flat fee of 695, right? Now, I'm going to take the 2125, subtract the 1200 I already paid for there, and 2125 minus the 1200 gives you 925 cubic feet you have to pay for. So, the easiest way to do this now is to multiply your cubic feet times 708 and then divide it by 1000. So 925 times 7.08 divided by 1,000 would give you $6.55. So now I have the cost of the water, the cost of the first 1,200 cubic feet, and anything over that. And now all I do is add these together. So 59.88 plus... 695, remember that's for the first 1200 cubic feet, plus 655 for the sewer. So 59.88 plus 6.95 plus 6.55 ends up being $73.38.
Okay, and remember, these numbers are coming from, let me uh, highlight here, that that cost there, right? The 695 for the first 1200 and the 655 for the over 1200. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So right away, you use 3,120 cubic feet. So I'm gonna take the 3,120 divided by 1,000, 3,120 divided by 1,000, right? You're gonna get your 3.12 times 23.95 gives you $74.72. Now we're gonna take our water usage, multiply it by 85%, because that's all we pay sewer on. So 3120 times 0.85 gives you 2,652. Now, right now, I know my total water bill is going to be the 7472. That's for the cost of the water. Plus, the first 1,200 cubic feet is 695. Now, anything over that, so I'm going to take 2652, subtract the 1200 cubic feet I already paid for. So 2652 minus 1200 gives you 20, oh, 2652 minus 1200 gives you 20, or sorry, 1452. So I'm basically going to multiply this together and divide by 1000. So times 7.08 divided by 1,000 gives you $10.28. So now I'm going to take that, add the 6.95, add the 74.72, and you get $91.95. Okay. All right, do me a favor, try this last one, and then come back and check your answers. So right away here, uh, the cost of the water, 1,600 divided by 1,000, you get 38.32. 85% of the water usage is 1,360. So you have your 695 for the first 1,200 cubic feet. Then when I do 1,360 minus 1,200, I have to pay for an extra 160 cubic feet, which is another $1.13. When I add all these costs up, you get a water bill of $46.40. All right, go ahead, do the homework and submit your work.